when it comes to studying journaling or content creation notion is overrated hey what's up my name is shivam don't get me wrong i've been using notion for more than three years to manage my work and it suits very well for productivity where you just want to see the data in more tabular form you can view in kanban view calendar view and they recently added timeline view as well but all this doesn't work for someone who is trying to use it for studying researching journaling and that kind of stuff the biggest reason i'm saying is because you can create pages take notes and offload all your cognitive data into an app but it is all scattered and you have to go back and forth to reference when it's time for exams you need all the things together in one place and everything should be mapped to each other searching everything at that moment is not the best thing you would expect Luckily, a developer made an awesome app that not only solves this issue, but also has added features that helps a lot when it comes to note taking. It's called Anytype. It was recently launched and had received a lot of updates since then. On the ground, it looks quite similar to Notion. It is block based. So when creating pages, we can simply press forward slash and add all these items like text, images, titles, etc. Once you have created a bunch of pages of your notes, check this out. All the notes are linked together. It's crazy. It's a mind map of your notes. It gives a clear vision of how things are linked so you can refer things back and forth. If we want, we can arrange all these objects whatever way we like. If this is overwhelming, we can view it in flow chart as well. So with this, we can dig deeper and deeper. In my opinion, it's the best way to manage your data. Another problem that Notion users often face is solved in this app is offline capability. In Notion, there are times when you're working offline and when you go back online your work could be lost here the app is local so that issue won't be faced here it's also decentralized a lot of people know it as a recent buzzword but listen this is one of the best security measures and once the anytype team enables the app for zero knowledge encryption it will be like a security king something i really like is the fact that there are so many pre-built templates that makes it ideal for anything you would like to use this app for like studying journaling knowledge base data vault and much much more last but not least we have lots and lots of shortcuts which is must for me after using any app for more than a week the first thing i do is i learn the keyboard shortcuts and here we have tons of them notion do have it but not as much as any type although the shortcuts are not yet customizable also the thing i found missing from any type is that it is built for personal use that means as of now you do not have the ability to add members and collaborate maybe we could see it in the future but for now it is not there however everything they are offering is priced at just the press of subscribe button below to me it's the best app for now if you are a student researcher or a work person you can definitely take the advantage of this app rest let me know what do you think about the any type in the comments below that's it for today hope you guys found this video helpful now if you are looking for a cloud storage service to store your photos and videos this video will definitely help and if you want to boost your productivity then check out this video right here like share subscribe stay safe bye bye